Introduction. What is temperature? What is heat? Introducing liquid crystal thermometers. Experiment. For this experiment, you will need liquid crystal temperature sensors. First, explain the following rules to students. Do not place the liquid crystal temperature sensor near a heat source. Hold the liquid crystal sensor by the clear plastic. Do not touch the liquid crystal unless instructed to do so. Tell students to look at the liquid crystal sensor and note the temperature range written on it. Tell students to note the color of the sensor. Tell them to turn the sensor over and note that it is covered with white paper. Tell one student in each group to place three fingertips on the liquid crystal sensor for 15 seconds and then remove them. Record what happens and note the pattern of colors produced. Explanation. How do liquid crystals work? How is energy transferred? Radiation. Demonstration. Visualizing radiation. For this demonstration, you will need a large liquid crystal sensor and a lamp. A VSVS team member will hold the large liquid crystal sensor and note the color. Turn on the lamp and hold it vertically about 5 inches away from the sensor. Observe the changes. Demonstration, infrared thermometer. For this demonstration, you will need the infrared thermometer and classroom objects. To use the thermometer, press the large blue MEAS button while the sensor is pointed at a surface. Use the thermometer to measure the surface of the lamp. Compare the temperature of the light bulb to various surfaces around the classroom. Convection. Experiment. Visualizing convection. For this experiment, you will need a hot pack, a liquid crystal sensor, and a white foam board. Tell students to activate the hot pack by pushing the button and place it on the white foam board. Tell students to hold their hands above it to feel the transfer of heat through convection through the air. Hold the liquid crystal sensor about 10 centimeters above the heat pack and note the color changes. Conduction. Experiment 1. Visualizing conduction. For this experiment, you will need the hot pack and a foam block with a strip of copper, iron, and wood attached. Tell students to place the hot pack on the bottom edges of the exposed prongs, being careful to keep the hot pack from contacting the sensor. Watch the liquid crystal change colors. Experiment 2. Observing ice melt on two black squares. For this experiment, you will need a set of two black squares and ice. Place some ice in the middle of each block and tell students to watch what happens. Do not explain that the two blocks are made from two different materials. Experiment 3. Ice melting on three different materials. For this experiment, you will need one wood square, one styrofoam square, one aluminum square, a foam board rectangle, a thermometer strip, and ice. Spread the materials on the long piece of foam board. 
Tell students to briefly place a palm on the top of each block. Put the blocks in order from coolest to warmest. After explaining the color of the thermometer to the students, tell them to place the strip in the middle of each block and record the temperature. Tell students to place a small piece of ice in the middle of each block and record the results. Results in discussion. Cleanup. 